guys. As always, I am Chef, and we're back with more Darksiders 2. Um, we're in here in the... Where am I? What's this place called? It's the, uh... The Drench Fort. In the Drench Fort. Kinda lost. Not sure what's going on. But, uh, we're just, just, just poking around. I'm probably gonna have to ask the bird for help. Which I'm not happy about. What? Shut up, door. Which I'm not happy about. I don't want to ask the bird for help. Stupid bird. Hate that bird. I'm gonna keep poking around a little bit longer. Maybe I'll go ahead Show and get, me the way. get him turned on so I can actually uh, explore in the right direction. You're not helping. It's like hovering right next to me. What's that noise? So this is where he came in. I just kinda jumped down, so. <laughs> Screw the door. The bird keeps moving. Bird, I just ran in a circle, and I'm not happy about it. This, this is not an answer. I'm you find something. <laughs> I'm being trolled by the bird. Yeah, see, that's okay. This fucking bird, man. This just makes more sense. Not jump down. <laughs> Wait, there's loot down there. Oh, these things. Reload. Yeah. Once you realize to use the gun on those things, it's like, <laughs> what's the point? Why even bother using anything else? I can actually use my fancy gear now. I'm kind of excited. That shoulder. Fancy. I got the full defensive set on. I have no idea what Aegis Burst is. I don't know how to use that. I'm going to go ahead and look that up real quick and see if I can't find it. So I didn't find out how to use Aegis Burst, but I did find out that you can remap your skills, so I can actually use Teleport Slash now by hitting R, which is nice. So I'm going to go ahead and assign some skill points as well, since I, I, I might stay with this build now. Alright, I also got, a, all right, got my skill points set up, got everything set up. The game just doesn't, like, it should give you this option, I'm a little judgmental of this, is it should give you a new skill and be like, where do you want it? Anyway, so I got this now, which is pretty boss. So, that's going to be a really helpful. I can actually play the game properly. This is probably why I've been getting my ass handed to me in a lot of the fights, because I wasn't, I wasn't properly using my abilities. So. Actually, come on. Surround me. Come on. Come on. Surround me. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. I can actually do damage now. I want you. Okay. It's so much better when I actually can do damage. Oh, Shiza! Oh, come on, you bitch. Come on. Yeah, I got my fancy armor on. I don't need your drops anymore. Is that all that was in here, though? Went through all that just to find dude's helmet. A little disappointing. Get off me! 
Answer one text message and the bird thinks he fucking lives here. Right, yeah, this game is a lot more enjoyable now that I actually know how to, you know, play the game and can do it properly. Right, can I just jump right across? Go! Oh, anyways. What is this? Nah. Well, actually, since I don't know how to use the Aegis Blast thing, I'm probably just going to switch out to the more powerful one. But... All right, bird. Show me where to go. We did this one already. Bird. Bird. I didn't miss something, did I? Oh, I missed the door right there. What's up, bros? Oh, I need to execute him. Oh, I need to execute him. Come here. Done. Yeah, the new armor makes a big difference on how well on my combat survivability. All well, the health regen is really nice. Oh, I thought that was a big boss at first. I can go for a boss fight right now. Oh, this is probably a good enough place to stop. I figured out how to play the game properly. We found Homeboy's helmet. And we're going to continue trying to get the, what was it, the Stone Father's Tears, I think is what they called it. So that'll be in the next episode. As always, thank you guys for watching, and stay sharp.